that dock uh, at the Royal Yacht Club of Tasmania in Hobart, when we stand there and we look at each other and we shake each other's hand and give each other a hug, I've got to tell you, it's going to be a pretty special moment for all of us. It's going to be for me, I know that. What a huge team effort. I'd like to thank you guys for your great contribution. Matt, you kept us laughing all the way. Ron, you were always there when we needed you. Remember the pack ice? Andrew, it took guts to take the whirl after that monumental knockdown. Graham, what can I say? You are a champion. A dream to reality. Anything is possible. It's just coming light. You know, that magical quiet time, that first part of the dawning of the new day, when it seems for a moment that you are the only person on the planet. The rest of the crew are asleep, and I have the boat all to myself, sailing on a gentle breeze on a gentle ocean. I'm here, standing at the hatch, looking out without having to brace myself or grimace or fight like hell just to stand up, with a mug of warm tea in hand rugged up just right to ward off the slight nip in the air. I see the blue of the eastern horizon mixed with the reflections of the bright oranges and reds and pinks of the yet to be seen sun. A sliver of a crescent shaped moon sits overhead as a lone albatross that circles endlessly. I have that at peace feeling, that feeling of self satisfaction, that feeling of inner well being, that feeling of reward. This is why I do it. I'm happy and content, and I hope you are as well. So I'm just one of one of five. Very simple. But no, there's, I'm, I'm nothing special. I'm just a bloke from Belmont, mate. Simple as that.